What's up my biker friends and welcome back to another video. Let's talk about wearing an airbag vest for off-road riding if it actually works, what you have to pay attention to and what my experiences have been until the vest actually released while I was riding off-road. For those of you guys that know the channel know that I'm a big fan of these airbag vests. This is the second airbag vest that I have. I used to have a mechanical airbag vest. This one is an electronic airbag vest. Um, there's a review that I did on the vest. I'm going to link it up here if you haven't seen it already. Now, usually these vests are made for road riding only. And there's some small fine print in the FIQ on the Helight side that talks about using this vest for off-road riding. So that is more like a gravel road than hardcore off-road enduro riding. Now they say if you want to do that, you have to pay attention and decouple it from the fork sensor if you got the fork sensor with the vest. I took mine off because there's some issue with the fork sensor. I have to send it in so I don't even have it on my bike for this trip. And I thought it was a good opportunity as we were riding the ACT Italy track to try out wearing a vest like this to see if it works on sort of the gravel roads. Now the difficulty level is somewhat in the medium section i would say for bigger adventure bikes it's definitely nothing crazy like you would do on a small enduro so for the first two and a half days i had no problems wearing the vest um, the only issue that i would probably have is the comfort it's not the weight so much as it is that the vest when you're standing up is kind of pushing in your neck a little bit when it gets a little technical and difficult then you just kind of forget about that and, and as you can see i also have a hydration pack um, mounted on top of the vest because it's always good to have some level of hydration especially when it gets warm so i was also trying that to see if it works with the vest together so it, it works um it's probably not the most comfortable thing you can do but uh, since there is very little information on the internet if this actually works and how it works i wanted to try it out for myself now it wasn't until day number three towards about halfway or the first third of the trip that the vest released and it really got me by surprise especially considering some of the stuff you were riding the two days before that that it would release in that very moment now luckily i actually had the camera running only the helmet camera but i had it running and uh, i can show you the clip and i can show you my immediate reaction after that um, obviously it completely caught me off guard but that's exactly what i was trying to do is uh, figuring out how it works so i'll show you the clip um, to get my like, immediate <laughs> response after after it happened oh 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 <laughs> Der Airbag hat ausgelöst. Ja, gerade so. Alter! Der ist gar nicht fest montiert, der hat einfach ausgelöst durch den Sprung. So guys, that was the test if uh, you can actually wear the sea light vest. For off-road tracks, I did a small little jump. I think the camera was on, this one too. And the airbag just released with a small little jump. So uh, it worked for two and a half days. And uh, yeah, it was quite scary actually when that thing released. Anyhow, um, I got a replacement cartridge and uh, I'm gonna take it off now because uh, <laughs> it's a pain ass to wear it. <laughs> Damn. Ugh. And it's getting really tight with the water here. Oh. <laughs> Scheiße. <laughs> da ist keine Schnur dran. Das ist ein elektronischer. Genau. Also hier. This is where the electronics are. And this is also where you uh, change the cartridge out. So if you take this, open this up. Okay. That's the CO2 cartridge. So you just take it out, put a new one in, and you're good to go again. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's turned off. Okay. So the air comes out after a while. And I can put it on again. <laughs> no, guys, after seeing that, uh, it's hard to 
recommend using a vest like this. I probably won't if I ride stuff like this, like the ACT Italy track or the West Alps off-road. It's probably not meant to do stuff like this. If you go on a simple gravel road, it's probably no problem of wearing the vest like this. Um, but if it gets a bit more technical, if you start to jump the bike, um, you know, there's a chance of a false release. Having said that though, even though it started me quite a bit that the vest would inflate, it took me a second to realize what actually happened because all of a sudden things got tight and it took me a second. It took me a second to say, like, okay, this is the vest. And so it's not as distracting as you might think um, when the vest releases that, you know, you fall off your bike or anything like this. It just takes a moment for you to realize, okay, it gets really tight around your chest and it's hard to move your head because the cushions under the helmet, they inflate and they basically work like a neck brace so if you do fall off the bike um, that's how it works now it's really easy to change the cartridge it's even easier than on the mechanical vest on the mechanical vest you have to use a tool here you just take uh, the cartridge and you take it out um, take the plug out and put it back in it takes all of 30 seconds to uh, change the cartridges now I knew um, that this may happen so I brought a second cartridge that I have installed on the vest now um, I didn't do it on the spot but I did it when I got back to the hotel and it takes 30 seconds it's super quick so you know if you want to try that and monkey around with it nothing really bad happens it's also interesting to see what it feels like when the vest actually inflates um ideally you have it under circumstances that you control a bit better <laughs> but you know if this is the second time now that an airbag vest um, released the first time was during my crash on the stelvio if you haven't seen that videos uh, linked up here and this time it was just uh, out of nowhere really so um to summarize it up would I use the vest on off-road riding? Probably not for this kind of stuff, but it's a simple gravel road. Um, why not keep it on? And um, make sure you, you don't have a couple to your fork sensor because then it's probably more sensible, especially at lower speeds. Uh, you know, if the bike's moving around, it may actually release uh, quicker than that. But if it does release, it's not a big deal. Um, it's not something that, you know, throws you off the bike. Uh, it just starts, you know, it's, not a, it's not a big deal. Anyway, um, I'm hoping that one of these days there may be some function in there that you can set the vest to off-road mode so it maybe changes the settings a little bit that it's more suited to what off-road riding now i know a lot of people don't wear this these things are relatively new in the dakar they're mandatory they have mandatory i think for two years now and t-light is i think one of the suppliers along with um alpine stars as far as i know that provide airbag vests for the riders this is a completely different system uh has nothing to do with what i'm wearing right now but i'm hoping that with that knowledge maybe he light or other manufacturers come out with vests that you can use for off-road riding because if you do crash um you know they they help you also for off-road conditions so it'd be nice to see that um down the road anyway guys i hope the video you found this useful because there isn't much information about this uh, if you have additional questions put them in the comment section if you like the video give me a thumbs up see you in the next video guys until then ride safe and stay awesome